Tonight, we launch an unprecedented exploration of a topic that is as uncomfortable and depressing as it is critically important. All this week at this time, CBS 5 is shining a light on loneliness and isolation among senior citizens. Let's get the facts first on CBS 5 News at 6. The census finds between 11 and 12 million people, 28% of those over the age of 65, are right now living alone. The National Council on Aging says socially isolated seniors are more likely to predict their quality of life will get worse over the next five to 10 years. And right out of the gate, I want to tell you that what you're about to see this week is personal. I was inspired to focus on this because I'm deeply concerned about how it impacts my grandmother. When I describe you, I say to people, uh, she has a sunny disposition, it's gotten her through a lot, but her world got smaller. Her neighbor across the street passed away. Oh, exactly. Her sister passed away. Oh, exactly. And, and when I describe you, I say her world got smaller by more than half, yes. just like that. In a second. In a second. And that happens to a lot it of people. It changes. Um, you know, you just don't know what to do. You really are lost. You can't go out and find a friend because you just can't get out. So unless they come to you, again, you're lost. My grandmother's name is Anne Benny. She's 93. She lives in my hometown, Scotia, outside Albany. I'm sure most grandsons feel this way, but I have to tell you, she is simply wonderful. A long life, so well lived, so much love, and the usual amounts of loss. Your photo albums are certainly different, but I'm guessing this story may sound familiar to you. Maybe it's happening to you. Or maybe you're the son or daughter of a parent in advanced age. Loneliness, when it settles in, can be devastating. Do you sometimes feel it? Lonely? Yes, I do. Well, you know, um, people are busy. very difficult to try to find things to occupy my mind. For quite a while, I was, uh, I used to go to the senior citizens, which is a great thing. A uh, center. Yes, mm -hmm. great thing to do. Uh, you'll find other people in the same situations you are in. So it's very nice. Um, then uh, you'll gradually get to the point where I really don't feel like going out today. I really don't feel like I got out today. And those days get more and more often. You'll find other things to do in your house. You know, read a book, do this, do that. Uh, some people will come in, which is great. But what happens, what happens when you get in that mode and then you stop doing then, more things? Then the loneliness will come if people don't come to you and you don't invite them in or call on the phone and say, you know, I'm having a bad day today. She gives thanks for memories and a memory that is still intact. She says most of the people we spend the prime of our lives with don't face the reality their aging loved ones will face loneliness. Young people are very busy. They don't often think I maybe they do think but they're busy doing things they can't always take time out of a busy life some people make the time some people don't if you're fortunate they do uh, I'm for fortunate ones people do